Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I would like to explain you how the slide control works and how to well fade out your wiggle expression or any expression that you have created and it's a very short video and I would like to show you guys fast how it works. So first of all let's open After Effects and just create a new composition. So let's create a new composition, it doesn't matter because it's a preview or an example how it works so I will make it 10 seconds. You don't have to do exactly the same, I'm just explaining how the effect works. So I'm going to create a new solid first for the background so you can see anything on my screen. So let's make it a white, little bit of a light grey color background and let's create a ellipse right in the middle and make sure the anchor point is in the middle like this and I'm going to center my ellipse in the middle of my composition. So there we go. And now I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a wave expression on my ellipse. So first of all, I'm going to open my position by pressing P from position. Um, hold Alt, click on the watch, and now you can see you open a expression script uh, error, typing error. So here you can type any scripts you'd like to use. And I'm going to type wiggle and then two and two hundred I guess yeah uh, two stands for the amount of wiggles in one second so maybe two is a little bit on a low value so make it five and the two hundred stands for the amount of pixels it's moving uh, each wiggle so it's randomly moving two hundred pixels around in five you know in just five wiggles in one second so that's a lot uh, I hope you guys get it 200 pixels moving from the anchor point five wiggles in one second that's basically how wiggle expression works make sure you've typed the right thing like I did here and um, the next thing we're going to do is to fade it out or just to change the the value now you are not possible to set keyframes for the wiggle expression and that's what basically what we want so first thing you just select your layer or composition and you go to effect expression controls and click on the slider control and now you can see we have just created an effect that's called slider control and now we can link anything to the slider control and then you can just create keyframes and well you can you just have more um, how do you say it more control of your keyframes for that specific effect. So click on the wiggle and I'm going to change the amount of pixels that's moving. I'm just selecting the value like I'm only selecting it 200 and then I'm clicking on the rope, the link tool. Just click it and drag it to your slide control. So oh, it's not doing the right thing. Just click on it again. Make sure you've just only selected the value and link it to the slide control. So now you can see the wiggle expression is a little bit different than before. You, the, the, um, the amount of pixels that's moving, the 200, it's gone and it says slider control is used now. So the thing is, nothing is happening now and that's because the slider control itself has a value of zero. So just click on the zero and make it 200 and now you can see it's well, it's basically the amount of value we had before, but it's not fading out any. So I'm going to click on the watch and I'm going to... Well, three seconds maybe. And then I'm just set it to zero. So it goes from 200 to zero pixels. And let's render it out. And as you can see, the wiggle expression is fading out. So. The last thing we can create is a easy E, so it has a nice fade out on it. So as you can see, our regular expression is done, and that's something that's basically um, used a lot at footage when a airplane airplane is flying by, and you have to shake your footage a little bit so it looks like the camera is, is shaking a little bit so you can use a wiggle expression with slider control just to shake the footage and just fade it out and those effects are used a lot and in motion graphics it's also a thing that 
you will be using a lot in the future, you will be using a lot of slide controls and other expressions just to have some control to, uh, on it. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys in this short tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you got any questions about it, just leave it in the comments. And well, I hope to see you guys in the next video. So yeah, peace and have a nice day. Bye.